Well, the thing that surprises most people is that I'm an introvert. Um, I'm not charged up by interactions with other people. They drain my battery and I need time alone to recharge. So that's, I mean, most college presidents are thought to be extroverts and I'm not. Well, I'm a big believer that in order for an organization to reach its full potential, you have to empower everybody in the organization. People need to own the work they do. And you look for places in the organization where things are bottlenecked, and that's usually because somebody's hanging on to more of the responsibility or workflow than they should. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to break through those bottlenecks. You do that by giving people ownership of their work. They like that. They do their work better. You need to do less managing, and you can accomplish a great deal more as, as an organic organization that way than you will if you have so many command and control points, nobody owns anything. Well, one, one thing that I believe strongly in in my industry, higher ed, is that you're far better off being in a very clear niche, working hard to be the best at that, than you are being comprehensive. It's harder to be all things to all people than it is to be one thing to one group of people. And so I think this is a moment of niche specialization, not comprehensiveness. I have a suspicion, when I do those um, interest inventory tests that we give students and it looks, what, what would you be if, if all things were being equal? I come up with lawyer. So I suspect that's probably what I would be doing, not necessarily trying cases or doing contracts, but I suspect strategic advice. Lots of law lawyers work in companies, helping that company make strategic decisions about where to go and how to go there. Those are the kinds of things I enjoy doing here. There's also some similarity there. So I think I'd be a lawyer. It's better to apologize than ask for permission. And I live and work in a very highly regulated industry, in a highly regulated state. Um, we, I've got oversight in multiple directions. It could take a year just to get all the permissions in order before you do something. So while it's not, I'm not saying you should be reckless, I'm not saying you should be profligate, I am saying that sometimes it's easier after the fact to say, whoops, um, especially if you've succeeded, than it is to try to get permission to do something new or different.